my show. Uh, we are joined today by Rekha Sameer. Um, and uh, before we start, we'll just let Rekha introduce herself. So Rekha, over to you. So I'm in a, I'm from originally from India. I was born and brought up in Bombay, had a totally different career because my parents are Indian and didn't believe in, you know, putting money down on an art education. Uh, and obviously went through the usual hoops of being married and being a mother and jumped all those hoops and then somehow ended up in England. And over here, because I've always wanted to be an artist, I joined up a foundation course. And the, this foundation course was so good that it um, offered me a place to study in St. St. Martins, which is a very famous college in London. And I've done my undergrad and master's. And for the past 10, 15 years, I've had a very rich practice of being an artist and a curator. And I work all over the world. So, and I'm just to uh, just to talk about me being an artist. I'm a conceptual, site-specific artist. A lot of my work comes from the idea, which is what Central Saint Martins is all about: concept. So um, that's how I have been working for these past so many years. All right. Thank you uh, for uh, for the introduction. Um, so uh, today's episode, we are going to be primarily talking about uh, two things. One uh, is more about the education factor uh, in terms of how important is getting a degree um, for for an artist. Um, does degree uh, really play a role, uh, not only in terms of you know learning skill sets, but also in terms of uh, you know being able to market yourself um, in the art circuit? Okay, that's a good question because I have met a lot of artists who are self-taught. Um, but I will go with my own experience. What going to art college in England? I mean, the emphasis is in England because I've been to art college in Singapore. Um, and, and I'm comparing uh, Asia with Europe. So within an art college education in Europe, what happens is um, you are forced to, made to think critically. You know, the whole uh, education is about uh, learning to articulate yourself. First of all, learning to articulate yourself, your thoughts. Second is learning to uh, transfer that language, that descriptive language into an art object. And within this art college context, you're also learned to look at your own work and look at your own ideas critically. So I feel if you can get into an art college where you are able to, uh, you are enabled by this critical thinking uh, aspect of the education, then you are lucky. But I have noticed within the Indian art education itself, it's a very one-way system. You know, the teacher comes in, the teacher, so-called person who knows everything, treats the student as someone who knows nothing. And there is this kind of sense of, you know, download of, uh, of techniques. In the Western way of art education, you are forced to talk about yourself, your personal thoughts, and what makes your opinion, your art object more uh, important than anybody else's. You know, if you have an idea, why is this idea important? So you are made to seriously question so much about what you're trying to do, you, that right at the end, the artwork is this kind of a core, highly edited core sentiment. So, for me, art education, to answer your question, is art education, if it brings in those elements into your sort of practice, then it's highly, highly uh, contributory, positive impact on you as an artist. Hmm. Um, so, the next question that I wanted to talk to you about uh, was uh, this entire concept of gallery representation. 
a lot of artists in India, uh, you know, run after galleries, uh, try to get some kind of representation yeah. because they feel that's the first step or first stepping stone towards making a career. Um, also in terms of getting their work out there uh, for public exposure. Um, but uh, what has happened is over the past, I would say about five or six years, the real estate prices has really gone up in cities, especially in cities like Delhi and Mumbai. And therefore the galleries themselves have been sort of struggling a lot. So um, as an artist, uh, does it still make sense uh, to go for gallery representation the traditional way? Or should one sort of start exploring the other, uh, the other mode and basically try and leverage on social media as a phenomenon? Okay. I have uh, very strong opinions about this. Um, we have to unpick this a little bit. First aspect is, do you need a gallery to make you successful? No. You don't need a gallery to make you successful. The gallery is only going to ride on your wave. The gallery is piggybacking on what you do to make money. A lot of galleries are these kind of, uh, are starting to dictate who is going to be successful, what the market is going to sort of, they are deciding, these gallery owners, who are not artists themselves, are deciding, what kind of art should be made and how this art and, and what kind of audience should be exposed to this kind of art. Mm -hmm. So I have always taken control of my, my work. I decide and I have always been a populist in the sense I want my work to be seen not by traditional audience. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think if you are an artist, you, have start, you are studying art. I would take the initiative. And guess what happens? This is the initial stage. Once you establish yourself and you are confident about your art, what you say, they will come to you and say, I like what you're saying. They will not try to say that you have to do what I say. Right. So I I hope that answered your question and it didn't sort of go off in a, in a tandem. Yeah. It, it, again, uh, very insightful. Um, so thank you, Rekha. Uh, thank you for uh, answering those questions. They are always going to be very helpful to the young uh, artists who are out there looking for this kind of content. Um, so thank you again for uh, spending time with us. Yeah, welcome. And uh, one, I just always want to say that, you know, everybody who's studying art, um, you know, just make sh remember this, that... Um, it is your opinion, your unique kind of comment on what's happening around you. It's, I mean, I am a contemporary artist. I am going to talk and comment and make art about contemporary issues. Mm -hmm. So if you try to uh, do something to impress others, or if you're going to, if you think, if your work is going to be about something you think is going to impress others, it's never going to work. So art has to be truly personal. Mm -hmm. so do not lose that in all this sort of commercial success, market, art. You know, don't lose that. So um, good luck with your interviews, uh, Nilanjan. This is a great um, uh, project, I think. And uh, looking forward to uh, going through more interviews and hearing other artists. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rekha. Thank you.